Oh, man, am I glad to see you. You make all this worthwhile. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and this is the first day of July. Now, I'm willing to bet the reason you've stopped by is because you know what I do. I share great information on hot penny stocks. Now, what makes me such a know-it-all? I'm not. I'm just real familiar with penny stocks. I trade penny stocks every single day. These are stocks under five bucks that you can find on any market. I post news on them every day. I virtually make a video on them every day. So I'm quite familiar with penny stocks. And I like to find one that has heat, one that has potential and share that with you. Well, today I'm going to do something different because I did something different. Over the last month, I started doing some extra due diligence. And while I was doing it, I discovered a hot window of opportunity. Every single day, virtually, you can find multiple stocks all running at the same time. And I'm talking running, folks, big runners. And I'm going to show you examples of what I'm talking about and how to snag in on them when they're happening and how you can find them. You ready to learn? I'm ready to share. Let's get to it. We got a party over here at John Zadar's Twitter account. That's me. <laughs> And if you follow me, I promise I'll try to make it worth your while. What's in it for you? Well, first off, every single day, you're going to get a solid two hours of postings of hot penny stocks running pre-market. I also like to post information on stocks getting ready to break out through the day. That is, if I'm not busy actively trading myself. And for the last month, I have started posting information on hot penny stocks moving after market. And that's what I want to share with you right now. So what we're going to do is look at a whole bunch of charts as evidence of what I'm talking about. Now, we've got information over here about each stock, but we're really not looking at the stocks. We're really not interested in investing in these. What we're looking at is a golden opportunity. We're looking at a window of opportunity every single day between 4 and 4.30. I started posting the news that came out after market as soon as it came out. And just because I started posting the charts with it too, so that people could see how the news was affecting the charts. Well, I noticed how the news was affecting the charts. They were blasting off. They were taken off immediately. No hesitation, no delay, no opposition. There was nobody bringing these stocks down when they started running. And the only thing I can figure is at four o'clock, most of your traders are gone. Won't be back until tomorrow. Then the news comes out at 4.03. There's only a handful of traders there and they're all interested in pushing the stock up. So it goes up and up and up until there's money sitting on the table and people start to sell. Then it comes back down. But not all of them, a lot of them stay up. And I want to share all of these with you as the token evidence of what I'm talking about. Then I'm going to show you how you can find these stocks fast enough to get into these trades. So I've got all the information over here about all these stocks in case you're interested. We have the ticker. We have the name of the company, the news that made the stock run after market, a little extra information about the company, and then the date when it happened. Now, something I noticed looking at all the charts I'm going to share with you, I was reading the news on all of them and it occurred to me, most of the news is not big news. None of the news is super hot news. And yet these charts are taken off. Now I've seen bad news. And when bad news comes out, the stocks fall really hard. It seems that all the motion after market is exaggerated one way or the other. And if you're looking for runners, this is a perfect place to be finding them on a regular basis every single day between 4 and 4.30. So the first one we are looking at here is CPSH. Not that it really matters. She had news come out after market. This is a five-minute chart. She started down here. Woohoo! I'm thinking she was at about $1.76 and she went up to $2.10 and then she came down really, really fast. But a lot of these are not doing that. This is SSY. This is a 15 minute chart. Just after the bell, about uh, 15 minutes, news came out. She ran from about 60 cents up to $1.15. That is almost 100% run right there. She came back down, but she never came down that low. 
So no matter when you sold here, you were taking a gain. Let's take a look at another chart. This is NXL. She had news come out shortly after the bell, and she jumped from about $1.70 up to $2.90. You are looking at roughly 50% gains there. She did come back down to her nine-day SMA, but she's way above where she started. Guaranteed gains on that play. Take a look at another one. This is ASNS, 15-minute chart. Beautiful, folks. This news came out about uh, 15 minutes after the bell. She started running at a roughly 45 cents. Wow. And went all the way up to a buck 43. You're looking at uh, over 300% gains, 350%. And when she fell back, she didn't go nowhere. She just went sideways. This was an outstanding play. Take a look at another hot chart after market. AGFY. She had news come out and she busted loose from about 26 cents all the way up to almost 40 cents. You're looking at about 50% there, roughly. She came down to 31 cents, not as big as a gain, but it is still a gain. Look, if you've had a bad day and you come over here and you get to pull any gains out of these plays, isn't that like a cherry on top of your Sunday at the end of the day? I love making money, but at the end of the day, it just makes you feel good. Let's take a look at another chart. This is MGRX 15-minute chart. Immediately after the bell, she took off. She ran from roughly 37 cents up to 53 cents. That's about 50% gains there too. She fell back a couple times, giving you opportunity to take bigger gains. But even when she came all the way down as far as she was coming, you still had a lot of gains you could put in your pocket. So no matter where you sold here, you came out ahead. Another chart, another example. This is CHGG. She had news come out about, what are we on here? This is a five-minute chart, so about 15 minutes after the bell. She jumped from $2.60 up to $3.40. You're looking at about... Uh, Ooh, 50%, just under 50%, 40% run right there. And when she fell back, she didn't hardly go anywhere. Nice gains to be taken, guaranteed on that play. Another great example comes from VXRT. This is a five-minute chart. She had news come out right after the bell, and she jumped from about 75 cents to a buck 88 well over 100% gains. That could be close to 150% right there. She did dip a little bit, came back up, and then she took a real hard fall. So you had an opportunity to take some strong gains in here, but even if you missed it for whatever reason and she fell all the way down here, you still got good gains. We were down here at 75 cents and she fell down to a buck 20. You can't complain about that. Take a look at another chart. I've got three more for us. Then I'm going to show you where to find this information fast enough so that you can make these trades. We are now looking at ticker EPOW. News right after the bell. She clocked in at about 57 cents and went all the way to a buck 18. That is over 100% gains. Fell back down to her nine day and just started chugging uphill. Choo choo. Anywhere you sold there, you were taking money home that day. Second to last chart, this is ELWS. She jumped from $2 up to $2.96. That is a 50% run. Now, have you been taking notice, folks, that it doesn't matter what is going on with the charts? She can be flat. She could have dipped. When this news comes out, it is a takeoff and a run. So don't worry about what's going on on the chart. Just get ready to get your trade in. Get ready to sell. When you see where you can find this news, you need to set yourself up. You need to have your broker site open. You need to have your charting platform open so that you can move quickly. One last chart to share with you here. This is ticker SNOA. We are looking at a five-minute chart. Oh, isn't that an interesting chart? She was in a downtrend here, hit this low bubble, and then we had a breakout attempt. She came up, tried to break out, fell back down, and took off. 
right here at about 16, 17 cents. She ran up to 24 cents. You're looking at roughly 50% gains there. Then she did pull back. But again, no matter where you sold here, you made money. So there's the proof in the pudding, folks. I've got lots more I could show you, but I'm not going to go through all of those. But what I do want to share with you now is where I find this. Where do I get my news? And you want to go someplace where the news is coming out quick. Well, I've got two sites I want to share with you. Both of them are free. You can access them, no problem. However, one of them you have to join. It's my Discord group. And I promise this is no ploy or trick to get you to join my Discord group. It just happens to be the facts. So I'm asking you to join for your own benefit, not mine. I'm not making any money off of you or anything like that. This is just where the information is at. So I'm going to show you the two places I get my information. The first one is over here at tradingview.com. I come over here to markets right here, come down to stocks. Jump on over here to aftermarket gainers and then click that. They've already got it sorted for you. Now, I do believe there is like maybe a five to 15 minute delay on this site. But if you hit the refresh button, it refreshes automatically. And this tells you all of the gainers aftermarket. So if you get over here immediately after the bell and just keep hitting that refresh button, you'll see what pops up. Now, this will tell you what's going on aftermarket. But this doesn't tell you why they're running. This doesn't tell you if they're running because they've had a good day or news came out. We are particularly looking for stocks that just had news come out. So this site is good, but it really doesn't focus in on what I'm looking for. My Discord group does. This is my Discord group. It is called Penny Boys. P-E-N-N-Y-B-O-I-S. Penny Boys is a very large Discord group. They've got about 36,000 members and they have a lot of other media sites. So they have an audience of about 12 million. Now we have a lot of information over here. We're not going to go through all of this. I'm not trying to sell you on Discord, but we are loaded with coaches for anything. OTC stocks, blue chip stocks, options, crypto tokens, even gambling. We've got all that going on over here. We got Trading University, Rags to Riches, Dad's Trades, but we have one page that I want to point out to you. Come down here to, let's see if I can find it, Chat Channels. Right here, Chat Channels. You see the questions right up underneath it. Come down to Stock Chat right there. Click this one, and what we have over here, folks, is a bot a robot, if you will, that brings in news as soon as it is released, it posts that information for you. Now, let's see what is going on here, okay? This is the page I work off after market. They tell me the market closed right here. So any news that comes out after this point is aftermarket news. And we got lots of news here. Now, I don't know what's going on. I've been talking to you while all of this is happening. So let's look at these right now. We have RDZN, her news, roads and reports, record revenues growth in the first fiscal year as a public company. Well, that sounds like good news, even sounds like hot news to me. So let's jump on over here to my charts. I'm going to throw that ticker in and let's see if it reacted to the news. <laughs> yes, she did. And that after a very bad day. Very bad day. Fell hard, hitting a new low here, going sideways, showing no enthusiasm at the end of the day. Then the news came out. And when did that news come out? That came out at 4.05. 4.05. Five minutes later, she's changed the entire chart. She jumped here from a buck 63 up to 2.92. Wow. That's like close to 80% gains, and it was fast, folks, right? There's no red bars in there. We're on a five-minute chart. She took off, and she hit that high and pulled back, and she is stuck up there at 269. You couldn't lose on this one. Let's take a look at another piece of news here, VS. Let me copy that while I'm talking. <laughs> Versus System announces strategic restructuring, new Interium CEO, and key investor engagement. 
Well, it doesn't sound like bad news. It does sound like good news, but it doesn't sound hot, right? So let's see how the charts reacted to this news. Ah, I can do it. Give me a second chance, folks. All right, give me a third chance. Honestly, I can do it. I swear to God, it's only two letters. Woo! Look at that, folks. So she's been in a downtrend, right? She's been underneath the 200, falling, 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 hit a low, came up, but really not going anywhere. And then the news came out. Didn't matter what her chart has been. She took off. She went from $1.32 immediately up to $1.79, hitting an ultimate high of $1.95, pulling back to her nine-day SMA. And she's at about a buck seventy-nine right now, starting at $1.35. No, that's not a giant gain, but it's a solid gain. It's a gain you didn't have to fight for, a gain you didn't have to wait around for all day, a gain I pointed you to because you knew where to look and knew right where to go to get. Let's take a look at another one here. This is kind of fun, isn't it? We have USEG. They tell us that US Energy Corps announced this transformative acquisition targeting helium production. Sounds like good news. Sounds like it has a wee bit of heat in it. Let's see what the chart has to say. Yes, it does. And again, folks, look at that chart. Nothing going on. She's been going sideways, not showing any enthusiasm whatsoever, but it doesn't matter. Aftermarket, news comes out, boom, she explodes. She jumps here from a buck up to $1.39. That's 39% gains. Now, you can see why I like to tell you to sell on the way up. Now, this is a five-minute chart, so you'd have had to be in and out really quick. But as she's moving up, you can be putting in your order here. By the time you get your order done, she's up here, right? When you're putting in your order, the stock doesn't stop moving. If it's falling, it's falling more. If it's climbing, it's climbing more. So why not sell while it's climbing? While you're putting in your order, you're making more money. Boom, there she goes. She did take a tumble back down to her nine. It was a big fall, but again, you're still able to take home gains. All right, I know I said one more, but I got to do one more. I really enjoy this. Hook, let's look at Hook. Hook Pharma announces first person dosed in phase 1B clinical trial of HB500 for the treatment of HIV. All right, this is big news in a lot of different ways. First off, they are dosing a human. That's big news. Second of all, they're dealing with HIV. That's big news. Now, the fact of the matter is a phase one trial is the very beginning of getting a drug approved. You got a long ways to go, probably five or more years. So normally when news like this comes out, whenever it comes out, you do see a strong pop. It'll go up and come right back down because they know there's a long wait. So you get a lot of excitement initially, but it doesn't stick around. Let's see how it responded looking at the uh, aftermarket period. Hook, that would be H double OK. OK, what do we got here? It worked. Oh, look at that. Very interesting chart, folks. She was going sideways. She took a dip, took a jump, and then she did this drop and roll around. What we have here is a perfect, I swear to God, a perfect cup and handle. That line right there, you can see this is where she started and this is where she ended. Down and up. Now you need a handle. You need it to fall back down about one-fourth, one-third the depth of the cup. After she dips down, you normally get an immediate rip straight up. And then she just starts doing whatever after that. Well, that's exactly what happened. So this was perfectly synchronized with the news. It looks like she was at about 62 cents when the news came out and it hit 75 cents before it came all the way back down. And that's what I said. That's normally what happens with phase, uh, phase one and phase two drug trials because there's still a lot more time to go. The stock isn't going to hold its value, but normally you do get a very quick jump. So now you see what is going on, folks. This is what I am interested in, habits. I am looking for things that I can count on, that I can rely on, that I can plan around. 
Probability is how I like to trade. When things do the same thing over and over and over again, I can make plans around that. And I have seen over the last month, virtually all of the good news that comes out after market runs, runs hard. And virtually all of the bad news that comes out drops, drops real hard. So find that good news. Make sure you're set up with your charts. Make sure you're set up with your broker so that you can move quickly. You've got to get in quick and you probably should be getting out quick. If you see a stock really surging, you go over 50%, 100%, folks, sell something. If you got in, sell something because you never know how fast it's going to fall. I'm not telling you how to trade. That's just how I trade. So I've shared a lot of information with you here, folks. I hope it's worth something to you. I hope it makes you money. But of course, there is nothing wrong with doing your own research. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.